percent stated by stated break. About the conflict, we have an internal conflict that is directly in one's her freedom, and the external is that Eileen family is ashamed for her decision to not bind her foot. My favorite character is Eileen Tao, because it's a Chinese girl who enjoys her freedom, is five years old in the novel, here is 19, is a smart, strong, and a brave girl, is a protagonist, never wants to have their feet bound, and is against all the traditions of her family. We have literary devices. We have foreshadowing. That example is Come on, Eileen, she said, it's time. It's located in chapter 3, page. We have an imperable at the beginning of the book that is when Aileen was running away from a woman of her family because they want to bind her feet. And she ran away. And we finally have the theme. One is that if you want something, Truly, with your heart, you have to fight for it and never give up. Of conflict, the internal one in where Aline faces the dilemma of bound feet, in hand with having to take a decision about her future, and later an external conflict when father dies and she argues with big uncle as far as her studies and future are concerned. Aline is a protagonist. She is a very dependent girl who enjoys freedom. She might be considered as a rebel due to her, how her life went according to her family traditions. She also loves to take decisions that make her future better. Foreshadowing is an advanced hint of what is to come later in the story. That is evidence when second sister comes to visit because of father being very sick, ending with his death. Hyperbole is an overstatement that exaggerates a particular condition. You can evidence that when she says that she could live on a pomegranate seed for days, weeks, and months. The theme of the novel relates to Eileen's life and how Chinese traditions affected the way she wants to live her life. With that being said, she tries to escape from what their family has prepared for her in order to have a future she considers useful and worthy for a girl. Hi, today we're going to talk about Ties That Bind, Ties That Break, a very intriguing novel written by the genius Lensei Namioka. The conflict is person versus person, as Eileen challenges old customs such as feed bonding promoted by her big uncle, who was always full of stinginess, which is an exaggeration, which is a hyperbole. Yeah, this girl, we're right now, here we go. How long do it? Yeah, yeah, oh my god. By the way, Eileen is my favorite character. And you know why she's my favorite character? Because she's brave, she's questioning her customs, and she wants to pursue what makes her happy, not her family. I know everything I need to know about you. You do? I do. Eileen says that if her father dies, Big Uncle will be taking care of her future. That is atrocious! And you know what that happens, so that is a foreshadowing. She was predicting the future. The theme of this novel is self-determination and independence because even though her only possibilities according to her family were a concubine, an aunt, and a farmer's wife, she decided that that wasn't her future and went to San Francisco with the warnings. One, two, three, let's switch this up. Hi, I'm about to tell you about this amazing book, Ties That Bind, Ties That Break. So what is this book all about? Quick summary, there's this Chinese girl called Eileen, she lives with all her family, grandfather, grandmother, mom, dad, little brother, big uncle, and her sisters. Unfortunately, both of her grandparents died, also her dad, and her sisters move away with their husband. So Eileen is in big trouble. Why? Because big uncle hates her blind of not wanting her feet bound. Spoiler alert, this leads to more conflicts for Eileen. I think that is pretty obvious who is my favorite character, big uncle. No, wait, it's Eileen. She's the protagonist of this whole book, and she's basically a little girl in her own rebellion of being herself, and not follow men's rules, which I love, because feminism. Foreshadowing, which sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. The author just wants to create suspense of what's happening next. This happens when they live within a cliffhanger of how dad is really sick and the consequences of this. Then we have hyperbole, which is exaggerating everything, an example of this is the smell of second sister's feet. The basic theme of the book is the courage, because all of the things that Eileen goes through just to be herself and live free. You can see that courage that she has at the stand of herself. The conflict of ties that bind the ties that break is men against society because Eileen goes against what a woman is expected to do in the Chinese society. She wants to study, doesn't want her feet bound, and wants to be able to speak up. Grandmother is a round, static, supportive character. She fakes to be angry sometimes and is a really traditional woman. But it's also very kind and indulgent to Eileen, even if they don't always see eye to eye. So guys, what is foreshadowing? It is when a book hints what will happen next. Like when they say Eileen's father tell plot, we know he will die. 
We studied a thousand times. That is an exaggeration, also known as hyperbole. Like when Ellen says, I know a thousand hiding places that grown up don't. The theme of Ties That Bite, Ties That Break is perseverance. During the book, we see Eileen always fight to get what she wants, even if she struggles, like her education or not getting her feet down. She never gives up. The book takes place in China during the revolution, and it centers around the conflict of Eileen, a girl who doesn't want to have her feet bound, and study and big uncle who thinks women shouldn't have access to education. Sir, I have your results right here. You tested positive for right-wing authoritarianism. Symptoms may include racism and possibly sexism. Thank God. But there is also Eileen's father, who is a symbolic character with very open-minded ideas. He is very likable because he supports her daughter. Hey brother, look, they just opened Disneyland in China. <coughs> Shut up, you're a disgrace for the empire. There are literary devices such as hyperboles when Big Uncle says that his brother is getting crazy ideas from brightness. Brother, listen to me, I think Eileen should go to school. Women are valuable members of society too, you know? Shut up! You're a disgrace for the empire! And there is foreshadowing that Eileen will eventually have her feet down. But the overall theme so far is rebellion and freedom. Yay, I have regular feet. Eileen is a Chinese girl who likes to run and play. Because of tradition, her family wants to bind her feet, but she doesn't want to. The, bo the mother of the boy that she was supposed to marry wouldn't allow marriage if her feet were not bound. My favorite character is Han Wei, Eileen's fiancé. He is a flat character because he shows few personality traits and doesn't change much during the story, but he still affects the plot. Foreshadowing is a warning or a hint of a future event. This happens when Eileen says she will never uh, allow them to do this to her, referring to foot binding. A, hy a hyperbole is an exaggeration used by the author. This happens in the story when... Eileen says, I knew a thousand hiding places, the adults didn't. The theme, was, the theme of the story is the willpower one can have uh, when you really want something. It revolves around Eileen, a five-year-old Chinese girl who doesn't want to get her feet bound, even though it's a cultural decision that allows women to marry well. Her father supports her. The story continues with Eileen's uncle preventing her from studying. Eileen Tao is the protagonist of the novel. She starts being five and ends up being 13. She is extremely brave and has a free spirit. Her feet are not bound. She loved school and dreams to become an English teacher, but works as Grace and Billy's Emma. Hyperbole, exaggeration in the service of truth. There is an example when the mother finds out Eileen saw second sister's feet. Foreshadowing, when the writer provides clues that suggest or predict future events. There is an example when Eileen meets the Warners for the first time. The theme of the novel is a gender inequality because Chinese women, in this case Eileen, were expected to suffer horrible pain during foot binding, to later getting engaged and married as a teen without getting an education and without their consent. Hi, I'm Eileen, and the main conflict I have is with my family, who wants me to follow all rules and behave in a determined way. Since I refuse to bind my feet, my big uncle says I will not achieve anything in life and that I am useless. However, I will always put resistance. My favorite character of the novel is me, Eileen. I'm the protagonist and her own character. I'm a brave, hardworking, and intelligent girl born in China around 1911. I disagree with a tradition that girls should stay at home and bind their feet. Eileen says, and when father was gone, big uncle will take all decisions. They suggest that father will die. Eileen talks about the illness of her grandmother and says, it wrenched my heart to see her become less active. This is a way to exaggerate. The theme of the novel is the life of a girl who is asked to submit to the rules imposed by society. This is because Eileen is always asked to follow rules, but she manages to do what she thinks is better for her and for women in general. She's definitely a warrior. In Tides That Bind, Tides That Break, Man vs. Man, where Eileen goes against her big uncle's wishes, and Man vs. Society, where Eileen goes against the traditional Chinese woman stereotype. Eileen is the main character of the story. She's the protagonist. She's a strong, dynamic character. She's a Chinese woman, very strong, who just wants to run freely. <gasps> the book says that his father is sick, that means he's gonna die and she won't go to school. And that's foreshadowing. Eileen is trying to have him wear heels is as bad as having bound feet. Just kidding, I'm exaggerating. That's also known as a hyperbole. 
The theme of Ties That Bind, Ties That Break is freedom, or more exactly, freedom to choose. Because Eileen wants to choose her future, she doesn't want to follow the Chinese stereotype. It's not rocket science, she just wants to be...